What's up, bookworms? This is Danny Reads, and I am participating in the Strike Back Video Athon. So if you haven't heard of what the Strike Back Videothon is, it's pretty much just a bunch of small channel YouTubers, booktubers specifically, who are striking back against YouTube, who are going to be demonetizing quite a few of our own community members in a short 30 days. So this Videothon is going to help those channels get their standings back up to where YouTube will monetize their channels once again. There are three booktubers who are hosting this Videothon, and that is the bookie, Ben Sanders and G Swizzle. I will link all three of their channels down below. So the first video topic is favorite books that I've read because of booktube. So I have seven books to show you, so let's just get into it. The first book on this list no one should be surprised about at all, and that is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I would have never picked this book up if it wasn't for booktube, and I'm so glad that I did. This is my favorite YA contemporary ever. I thought it was just so adorable. And I have booktube to thank for that. So if you don't know what this is about, this is about a girl named Laura Jean and every time she has a crush on a boy and she is going to get over it, she writes them a letter, addresses it, all that stuff, and then puts it in a box for no one to see ever again. Well, one day she comes home and all the letters have been sent out and now she's dealing with the repercussions of that. I cannot tell you how adorable the, this book is. The next book is on this list because I am a huge fan of witty novels and if you don't know what book I'm about to say, you, you just, you should. And that is Shatter Me by Tata Mafi. I loved it when I read it. I am definitely not trash for it like Whitney is, but I really did enjoy it and I'm actually really excited for the next books in this series to come out. This book is about a girl named Juliet and her touch is lethal. So the government is planning to use her as a weapon while she has plans of her own to escape and fight back. And that's pretty much all you want to know going into this. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you Whitney for talking about this nonstop because it literally took me a little bit to pick it up, but once I did, I really did enjoy it. This next book I picked up, one, because it is co-authored by my all-time favorite author, and the other reason is because of booktube and everyone couldn't stop talking about it when it came out, and that is Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I know most people picked this up because of John Green, but I picked it up because of David Levithan. Will Grayson Will Grayson is about these two boys, both named Will Grayson, and this book follows both of their paths separately, and then one day their worlds collide, and that is all I'm going to say about it. I love this book so much. The next book on this list is all forever being hyped on booktube, and it's probably because there's like a million books in this series, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. So I've only read Throne of Glass and The Assassin's Blade, and I highly, highly enjoyed this. I am not a big fantasy fan whatsoever, but this just made it so easy to get into that kind of, like to get into any kind of fantasy that I just really enjoyed the story. I really love the characters at this point. I'm definitely gonna have to reread it before starting, like continuing the series, because I read this quite a long time ago, but I just remember really, really enjoying it, and it's all because of booktube. And this book, if you don't know, I feel like everyone on the planet has read this book, or read this entire series, but me, minus the first book. And this follows, oh my god, what's her name? So bad. Selena? Okay. So this book's... So this book follows a girl named Selena, and she is a 16-year-old assassin. What else do you, what else do you need? I mean, badass chicks in powerful positions. So anyways, so the king of her country needs a personal assassin. So he is hosting this competition and she participates, what, enters? Okay. <laughs> and she enters this competition and just has to try and beat out everybody else to become his personal assistant or personal assassin, not assistant, assassin. And 
like I said, I just really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really good and I can't wait to reread this and then continue on with the rest of the series. The next book that is one of my favorites because of booktube is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I would have eventually probably picked up this series if I didn't hear about it on booktube, but booktube definitely pushed me to want it sooner and to read it sooner and I'm so glad that I did. I have completed the Lunar Chronicles and I loved every single book in this series. So Cinder is a loose based retelling of Cinderella, obviously Cinder, Cinderella, but uh, Cinder is a cyborg. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. I feel like I don't remember enough of just like the beginning of the story to not spoil anything. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this whole series. I love any fairy tale retelling. So if you have any suggestions for more fairy tale retellings, put them down below because I will definitely check them out. The next book I definitely would have never picked up on my own if it wasn't for booktube and that is Angel Fall by Susan E. I probably would have never picked this up only because I when I first heard about it I heard it was about angels and an apocalypse and I was like okay not really my thing but I'm so glad that I took a chance on this book and bought it because I fell in love with this entire series. I love all the characters. I love how it's written. It's probably one of my favorite dystopians ever <laughs> but yeah it was just really great so this series is about a girl named Penryn and at the beginning of the series her sister gets abducted by angels and she has to go and find her sister and save her and it's just so good and they're pretty fast reads highly recommend the series if you're kind of having doubts because it's about angels they're actually written really really well and I highly suggest you pick this up and last but certainly not least is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins I never would have picked this up without booktube and because I'm just really not a contemporary reader I mean I've been I'm becoming a contemporary reader but I am not I wasn't before booktube and with everyone raving about Stephanie Perkins and specifically about Anne the French Kiss and like the entire companion series, I just had to pick it up and I'm super glad I did. If you don't know, I just actually reread this back in December and I loved it just as much the second time as I did the first time. So this story is about a girl named Anna, obviously, and she gets into a boarding school in Paris, France, where she just gets up to her own shenanigans and it's a contemporary so there is romance in it and the romance I feel is done really really well. I really enjoyed it both times I read it and I don't reread books very often so that says a lot but I really enjoyed it. If you're looking for like a cute fun flirty kind of read Stephanie Perkins this series is perfect for that. It all right guys that is all of the books that I love because of booktube and I am forever grateful for booktube for many reasons but that is one of them. It has brought me to some of my favorite books. I have probably more on this list than just those seven but those were just the seven that stood out to me as I was scanning my bookshelves for this video. If I come up with any more I will make a separate video in the future but Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're participating in the video -a thon Link your channel down below and I will definitely add you to a watch list so I can watch all of those videos because I'm super excited to be doing this Strike Back video -a thon And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content, especially for the next 30 days because you're getting a video every single day. And on some days you're getting more than one, just so you know. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Keep reading, keep smiling. Bye guys. I'm on. Oh my god. <laughs> I are I oh. And I will see you guys. Oh my gosh, I hope it tells me the And comment down below like I oh okay, I already said comment. Why does my lighting keep going weird? I'm doing the strike back re Oh my god, I am this is so hard. <laughs> Thank god I only have to do this in one video. <laughs>